Hi everybody, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs and welcome to this video. We had a community member ask a question about automating lyric slides in ProPresenter while playing worship tracks. And the answer is yes. You can use the timeline feature in ProPresenter to do this. For those of you in our community who don't know much about using worship tracks in church, I'm going to start at the beginning. So let's first look at where to get worship tracks from and then the best ways to play them back. So starting with having you know zero flexibility and a ton of ease for volunteers to run them, moving to methods that give us lots of flexibility so we can change things on the fly. Hey, if you're interested in joining the Crazy Amazing Designs community, subscribe here on YouTube and check out our Facebook group at Crazy Amazing Designs. You can purchase video worship tracks from places like worshiphousemedia.com. These videos include the song lyrics, nice backgrounds, and the instrumental audio tracks. They are also licensed and ready to go to begin playing in your church gathering. If you don't have a band, this is the simplest way to begin using tracks in church. Tracks are an amazing solution for your worship service because they help give your worship a big feel without a band on the stage. And even if you have a band, tracks help to fill out the sound of live instruments with additional sounds. Basic instrumental split tracks can be found online. These include the voices or click track on the second channel. This allows you to direct that click voices channel to things like in your monitors for worship team members. Multitracks.com and loopcommunity.com are the most cost-effective places to get the highest quality worship tracks. On multi-tracks, you can purchase original accompaniment tracks for $8, which gives you all the instruments of a song compressed into a single audio track in a single key. For a little bit more, you can get unlimited access to the tracks of a song you purchase within the playback app. In the app, you can solo or mute individual instruments and adjust the levels of each instrument in the song. With an audio interface that has two or more outputs, you can send individual tracks or group tracks together and send them out different outputs to the mixer. With a device such as the Track Rig by Loop Community, you can output eight full-size instrumental XLR feeds from your app or computer to the mixer. Additionally, with the proper gear, you can take that a step further and output each instrumental channel to the mixer solo. The app also gives you the ability to set up MIDI triggers that will feed into ProPresenter and will allow the slides to change automatically. Multitracks can also be purchased with the ability to download the track file for a little more. This gives you all the tracks of the song you purchased in every single key. Now you can use them in programs like Ableton Live, which gives you a ton more flexibility. Tracks from multitracks.com are the best quality because they are the original song recordings from the artists who sing them, not reimagined versions. They are not super cheap, but because of what you get, they are not super expensive. Now that we have looked at what multi-tracks are and how to get them, let's look at how you can use the full multi-track if purchased. Here I have all the multi-track files from a song open in Ableton Live. You could also use GarageBand, which is a free program on Mac, and there are equivalent programs on PC. For how I want to play them, I want to select all the tracks and export them into a single audio file. Because we own the multi-tracks, we have access to the song files in each key, and we want to export a version of each key. This way, if a singer wants to change the key, song's key, it's just a matter of selecting the proper file. You can also create additional versions without specific instruments, such as with no piano, so that someone can play that live or with no guitar track for that same reason. If you plan to frequently mute or adjust tracks when you have live musicians, I suggest playing them back from the Multitracks app, which does cost a monthly fee, or you could use Ableton Live, which is a one-time purchase. This gives you a lot more flexibility to make changes on the fly. Ableton plays back the dozen tracks in a song simultaneously and can also be set up to trigger slides in ProPresenter. Just like the app we discussed earlier, you can mute, solo, you can change the volume levels of, in of individual instrument track channels live and then send them to the mixer in as many channels or combinations as you want. Once we finish exporting the desired files for a song, create a playlist in ProPresenter and bring them into it. Now when you want to use a specific version of a song, they're right there. Set up the song slides in ProPresenter and style them the way you want. Now we have two options, two ways we can go from here. Option number one, we can drag the song track file from the audio bin onto the first slide. This way when the ProPresenter operator clicks on the first slide, the song begins to play and now they can click through the lyrics during the song. Or option number two. So this is where the answer to the question comes in. 
With the song selected, open the timeline feature in ProPresenter. You're gonna find it here, the logo it looks like this. Drag the desired audio file into it and then select record. And the audio file will begin to play and as the song plays, click through the slides at the proper time and they're gonna be recorded. Once the song is over, click stop recording and you might need to select go to beginning but now when you click play, the audio track will begin and the slides will be automatically triggered. If you want the change to a different version of the song, just drag the new file over the existing one to replace it. This is a great technique. Now you can play the audio file inside of ProPresenter and the slides change at the correct time. I wanna take this a step further though. Remember those video worship tracks we talked about before? Well, those are like $15 and with them, you don't get the ability to change the background, the text or the song key. But with this technique we just discussed, all of that can be changed. All of that can be set up in ProPresenter. But the thing is, is that we just set it all up to work in ProPresenter, but you might still like the idea of having the audio lyrics and background in a video file so that the operator only has to press play. So next, we're going to create our own video worship tracks. ProPresenter has a feature that allows you to record the output window going to your projector or TV. So now that we have set up tracks in this manner, we're going to record the output of ProPresenter to make our own video worship tracks. This can be done in every key and iteration of the song by changing the track and repeating the following. Before we begin recording, click on the first slide, which should be the background with no text. That way the background is being displayed before the song starts. And when we trim the video, there is no black screen in the song intro. Once this is done, in Pro 7, click the Live button on the top right of the output window and select Capture Settings. In Pro 6, click Actions, then Record Output, which opens the Output Recorder settings. In Pro 7, you can choose which screen is being recorded and then the destination, which is disk in this case. Select H.264 as the codec and the resolution if that needs to be changed. Once you're recording the output, start the song and when it finishes, stop the recording. Now to play back the song, drag the file into Pro 7 as a video file and there you go. Videos like this happen because we have a community who is growing. People who are asking questions and learning new techniques. If you have any questions about this video or others on the channel, leave a comment on the video. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to the channel and joining our community. Follow us on Instagram at Crazy Amazing Designs and thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.